So I just woke up and checked my phone to see if there was any news on the Kawhi Leonard saga to see if Kawhi was going to stay in Toronto. Much to my surprise, I have discovered that Kawhi has decided to sign with the Los Angeles Clippers. So I know at this point many Torontonians are saying, well, you know, Kawhi came and... You know, he brought us the Larry O'Brien trophy. He took us to the finals. He took us to a place that we've never been before. And, you know, if he wanted to leave, well, that's his choice. And we're happy for him. We support him on his decision. And we wish Kawhi the best. I am not of that, uh, you know, feeling. I feel that this is ridiculous. This man has had us on Kawhi Watch for over seven days. All other free agents have gone on to choose their teams early in the free agency. Kawhi has had us sitting there on pins and needles, you know, uh, twiddling our thumbs, picking our teeth, uh, you know, just twitching, uh, doing whatever, wondering what his decision is going to be. He has had a whole nation just basically just sitting here waiting on him, you know. And then he decides that he's going to leave Toronto uh, and go to the Los Angeles Clippers. As far as I'm concerned, this is selfish, self-serving, and self-centered. It was all about Kawhi. Everything's about Kawhi. You know, it wasn't about team and, you know, what's good for the team. I mean, who, after winning a championship and, you know, receiving the MVP just gets up and leaves the very next day, next year. We haven't even had a chance to really celebrate the championship because right after, it was all about what's Kawhi going to do? Is Kawhi going to stay? How will that affect the, the, the Toronto Raptors going forward? You know, most teams are celebrating and, and reveling uh, in, their, in their win. We, however, on the other hand, have had a very short-term celebration because it was all about Kawhi. You know, I feel like if Kawhi was going to leave, he should have just left right at the beginning uh, of this free agency. Instead of having a city on pins and needles for so many days. It's ridiculous. So, you know, I wish him well. But I want to say this. Many great players have come to Toronto and have played with Toronto. And after getting recognition and notoriety have decided, oh, the grass is greener on the other side. And they've gone to the other side and discovered that it's not so green after all. Many, after going to the other side, have, you know, faded away into obscurity. I hope this doesn't happen to Kawhi, but I'm just saying, every time we get somebody and they're good or we build them back or we build them up, they always want to leave thinking that, you know, it's better somewhere else. Life is good in Toronto. Toronto's a great team. Toronto's a team that plays with heart. Toronto has been a great team all season. Even before acquiring Kawhi Leonard, Toronto was great. Toronto had the number one record in the East even before Kawhi came along. So why Kawhi didn't want to come to the Raptors? I don't know. He was coming to a great team. And I think Toronto Raptors proved that they were great. Because you can't just win just with one person. You need a supporting cast. And Toronto proved that they were a formidable supporting cast. And they helped Leonard to win that championship. So Kawhi didn't win the championship alone. It was a team effort. So I want to encourage the Raptors and all Raptors fan out there that we can do this again with or without Kawhi Leonard. Right now it's without Kawhi Leonard. So we're going to figure out who we're going to get to fill this gap. And we can do this again. Kyle Lowry is the heart of Toronto Raptors. You know, he gets everything pumping. And I believe that we have talent on that Raptors team. And with the talent that we have, we can do it again. So right now we're left figuring out how are we going to fill this void? Who is going to fill this void? And that's something that Masai is going to have to work out. But I believe in the Toronto Raptors. So I wish Kawhi the best. Uh, yeah, am I mad? Sure. Am I cheesed? 
Sure. Am I disappointed? Sure. Am I agitated? Sure. But Toronto is still great. We're a great city. We're a great country. And we rally behind our team. So right now, Kawhi has gone to the Los Angeles Clippers. He will have to share the, share the fame, you know, with uh, LeBron and company and all the other, you know, states team. Whereas in Toronto, he was going to be Canada's king. He was the king of the north. He would have been the king of the north. But Toronto, we're going to find another king. We're going to crown him king of the north. And we're going to keep that king. And with that king, we're going to defeat LeBron and Kawhi. Because we are the team that fights with heart. We're the city that rallies behind our players and our team. We're the city that rally behind the now reigning NBA champions, the Toronto Raptors. So Toronto, don't lose heart. You are still the reigning champions. And we will win in Toronto. We should have won in Toronto. We have won and we will win again in Toronto. Masai Jerry's words, we will win in Toronto. Don't lose hope, Toronto. We're on the rise.